Hi everyone, what's up? I'm back and he's back and he's tired and she's been holding her arms up for 24 hours. Do you think she just get tired of looking at herself in that little mini mirror holding up lipstick next to her mouth for no when reason? When you say 24 hours, it implies that we this isn't still the same day as the last two. I don't know what you're talking about. He said 24 hours, and that implies we're not still recording on the same day, which we are. Are you sure about that? Yes. I would know. I'm not... I'm incredibly freaking tired. He's still on his Vita, by the way. I don't know if... Like, for some odd reason, it feels like... <laughs> Maybe I'm just hallucinating, but I swear it feels like the audio quality dropped. Like, I don't know if he's just holding the mic against the bed or something, or I'm just hallucinating. I don't know. I mean, listen. you are one who's yeah. known to hallucinate. I like hallucinating. <laughs> Where did my other freaking headphone go? Well, see, that's the issue now. That's what I have to know. We can go, and then you win an objective with the gumshwa acquaintances. <laughs> gumshwa? <laughs> and you were a detective gumshwa acquaintances? <laughs> no way. I only met him in person today. Then how did you know about Detective Gumshoe? Oh, I've seen him around before. I saw the detective get chewed out by the livid Faraday in front of the precinct. Hold it! <sighs> Hold it! Mr. Faraday was upset. Yeah. You know what else? Mr. Faraday isn't exactly known to get angry often. <laughs> but there he was. Totally beat Red in the face. Ahem. And the offending detective just stood there, pale as a ghost, like he was about to die. Just like in the face he's making right now, right? She's Italian again. <laughs> what? How oh, is she Italian? I swear I'm hearing you say Italian. I I'm, I'm really confused right now. Arrgh, I'm completely innocent, I tell you. I have to tell you, I have never once said Italian unironically or when I wasn't making fun of you. <laughs> the poor man. <laughs> it was quite the scene with the detective. Yeah, she's like Yukiko. He stood there super pale as, a Mr. as Mr. Faraday yelled, That's a salary cut for you, nitwit. You just stood there watching this unfold in front of you. I should have been the one who gave him a salary cut. Yeah, I have to say it was really enjoyable too. But that's why Ooh, I saw the What? What a bitch. I know, right? Detective Gumshoe earlier, I knew to steer clear of him. No way! I thought it was because I had something stuck on my face. Well, you technically do. <laughs> and you've had it stuck there for seven years. <laughs> but you do! Huh? I've got something stuck on my face! That's not what he said. What? What have I got stuck on my face? I've got something stuck on my face, man! Well... Yeah, come to think of why does he have something stuck in his face? I never really bothered to question that, really. It's supposed to be like he cut himself shaving, I'm guessing. So he cuts himself shaving all the freaking time, then, apparently. Well, he's an idiot. Oh, and those ridiculous eyebrows. Oh, come on, what's wrong with his eyebrows now? Huh? <laughs> that is the perfect freaking animation for him. <laughs> That that was that was amazing. I gotta hand it to him there. Yeah, that was pretty good. Jeez, <laughs> oh, I almost wanted to just go full collect with this. Oh man, I'm messing with your head is just too much fun. It's not like pearls in this game anyway. And that was the person I always said I was gonna give the freaking voice to, so I was like, you know. <laughs> that would not that would have been the most unfitting person to give that to. Really? Why? Yeah, because no. But she always laughs, and that's what Polite always says. No. Miss you, if you don't mind, I'd like to return to your testimony now. You're just saying that because you don't want me to do the voice. No. Per giving Pearl that voice is the most oh, unfitting. Oh, giving it the Pearl? I thought you were talking about the you. No. 
Why would you be out of fitting for freaking Pearl? I don't know what, you, what you're talking about, man. Because no. <laughs> sure, why not? So what, you're saying it'd be more fitting for you to have it than Pearl? It'd be more fitting for Maya to have it than Pearl. Heck no, she's, not, she's a normal person. Pearl is not a normal person. She's like a freaking toad. That's what she reminds me of, so therefore that's Moving why she Moving on. A brand new detective suddenly getting his salary cut. That's reason enough for a grudge. Hold it. Hold that's it. speculation. Hmm, to so cut a new detective's salary right off the bat like that. I'm not really familiar with the way you guys are relate, but is that a common practice? <clears throat> Speaking of cutting my salary, didn't you threaten to do that to me earlier too? I suppose I did. It's only natural, so cuts the What's a detective salary? What? Down to the actual what? My father can even fire anyone in the new world with a snap of a finger. <laughs> Do you even think maybe that's a reason enough for detectives to hate you people? Well, I guess they really shouldn't cut people's pay. Detective Bat, don't tell me Mr. Von Karma cut your salary earlier. Hmm, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Well, how's that for the perfect explanation? It. It's terrible. You call your explanation perfect? <laughs> Is it not to your liking? Obviously not. Unfortunately for you, it's just not up to my standards. Oh, is there something you want me to clarify in that case? What should I do? What should I raise an objection? What? <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Iggy Addy! Alright, if you could clear this one thing up for me. How Mr. Faraday was killed. Motive for killing Mr. Rel. Oh, that seems... Sounds kind of obvious. Faraday and Gumshoe's relation. Well, anyway. I understand Detective Gumshoe's potential motive for killing Mr. Faraday. However, what about his motive for killing Mr. Rell? Wait, as a, maybe as a witness, maybe? I don't know. His, his motive for killing Rell, like, I would know. Hmm. If there was no clear motive for both of the murders, then I doubt this incident would have occurred. Wouldn't you agree? Is there anyone else who might have had a grudge against either of the two men? Or should we look into that ourselves? Oh, in that case, I have absolutely no idea. Dot 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 dot. What? But that's impossible. She must know something. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> There's like a half burp in there at the same time. No! Ah! I still say she's way too animated. She's a new character, but she's animated. Can you please not glare at me like so that? So it's bad, but he's not as well animated as her. It makes me laugh. <laughs> Urgh, I didn't even do anything. You're already laughing away. Well, anyway, in the way I see it, as long as he had a motive to kill one of the two. This crime would have played out this way, it did anyway. What? <laughs> oh, would you care to explain your logic? And this time, please try to provide a truly perfect explanation. <laughs> perfect this, perfect that. Stop being so uptight, or is this a request? Requ requisite trait. Requisite. For being I was, I was waiting. I was waiting to see if you could get there in the end. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, I demand that you shut this wound woman up. I wish you both be quiet for just one second. Ahem. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to explain it to you kids. Arguments and motives that kill the men. Just like, yeah, I'm here in this episode too. There's no one out there to be. Mr. Faraday, Mr. Well. All you really have to establish is that someone had a grudge against one of the two men. 
Mr. L, who happened to be there, became a witness to Mr. Faraday's murder. Therefore, he was killed out of necessity and set up to look like they had killed each other. Oh. I wonder if that's really true. I think Is it's there... kind of funny that you can, like, get gumshoe... <laughs> like, arrested for murder in this case if you fail it here. Yeah, that is a good point. Like, how does that affect the future? <laughs> the future didn't happen. This is an alternate timeline now. And yeah. then technology would make sense, because it is an alternate Shut timeline. <laughs> is there no one out there with a grudge against both men? I should take another hard look at the evidence for this morning's case. The second KG8 incident, as the people are calling it, Kai, involved... <laughs> Kai involving an embassy staff member. And the two men who both wound up as suspects in the case. Is there someone else I'm overlooking who is somehow related to them? I wonder who it could be. Oh. Yeah, that might be right, actually. They, both they're to literally kill the men. spelling it out to you. I mean, they should at least let you try to figure something out on your own. I mean, I honestly kind of want to suspect you a little bit, just because, but now I'm kind of, I've shifted over to Manny Cochin now. It's like, oh, that guy's got to have been the guy who did it. He definitely did it. There's no one out there with a motive to kill both Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell. And that's the truth, and nothing but the truth. You can't present evidence against me to prove it otherwise. Woo! Uh, because it's impossible, that's what it is. Hmm. Delicious. Oh, we're still at the beginning after all this time? Wow! Yeah, if I recall, this is a somewhat average length uh, thing. I am absolutely shocked. So there is no one else who might have a grudge against both Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell. I suppose no one is a bit of a stretch. But I'm pretty sure no one like that was here in this courthouse today. She's lying through her teeth, and we just saw a someone like that here earlier. Besides, you don't need to prove that the killer had a grudge against both men. Oh, yeah? All you really have to establish is that someone had a grudge against one of the two men. Oh, yeah? Someone with a grudge against Stop one? Stop saying, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? In that case, are... <laughs> plenty of people... Other people who fit the bill? Sure. After all, who doesn't garner scorn from another sympathizing alive? But the only one who killed it, grudged and acted upon it was what? by killing was Detective Gumshoe. Oh, the yeah. only one who killed a grudge? <laughs> no. Nah. Furthermore, Mr. Rell, who happened to be there, became a witness to Mr. Faraday's murder. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> so you're saying that he was basically silenced. Aren't you glad you managed to avoid the same fate, your honor? Wait, what? Why, if you had been the one to witness the blood-covered detective- Ah! <laughs> what? Detective Gumshoe, you would kill even me. What? I, I I could never do something as terrible as that, Your Honor. There's no need for even a second of deliberation. I shall hand down my verdict now. On. Oh, I want to hear the verdict though. Your Honor, take a look around. We are not in the court right now. You're technically in the courthouse. It would be greatly appreciated if you would stay here with us in reality. Ah, please forgive me. I know not what I do. Are you freaking, like, never mind. What? Was that not what he said? It was what he said, but the way oh. he worded it was like, that's what Jesus said to God. They know not what they do. <laughs> or some crap like that. Well... I don't know. I'm not... Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> I'm not a religious person. Maybe it's a sign, then. And you're there! Miss you! 
Hurry up and continue towards this testimony. Make you fit to do so, I will whip you into shape. <laughs> That's nice, sounds kind of like fun, actually. What? Anyway, Detective Gumshoe, we had to erase the witness, Mr. Rell. Apparently, she's the freaking the M. Uh, apparently, she's the type of person who likes getting whipped, I guess. Jeez, man. Yeah, that's what and I meant by the M. I st no, I know I've been showed that, but I already forgot what any of that means. So, you know, don't try pressing on me again, because I don't, I don't remember unless I Fado ask. masochism. Well, actually, no. Actually, I'll, I'll never ask again. Probably, this is probably been drilled in my head enough times, or I probably actually would not forget it. Unless it took like two years for it to be brought up again, then I might forget again. I don't know. What are you They're, talking about? Therefore, the, the the M thing, whatever the heck you're freaking talking about, I don't freaking know. Therefore, sadism, sadism, and masochism. Yes, and when you actually say the words, that sounds like I thought. I, I thought they were. Never mind. Just never mind. Like, whatever. Therefore, he was killed out of necessity, and he set out to look like they had to kill each other. I thought it had like entirely different meaning when you first brought it up for some reason. I was like, is this like in something inappropriate or something? And I'm like, oh. I mean, it kind of is. Yeah, but the words themselves aren't inappropriate. So what? Hmm. I didn't do it. Duh. One who derives sexual pleasure from inflicting pain, and one well, who derives. Well, that's not what I read now. I just read that they were just like they just like being abused. <laughs> yeah, that's one like. That's it doesn't necessarily Satan. have to mean shut that up. now. Shut Jeez. up, shut up. Why do you shut me up? Stop shutting me up. Because you're not listening to me. <laughs> I am listening sadism, to you. Sadism is deriving sexual pleasure from inflicting pain. Masochism is deriving sexual pleasure from receiving pain. No hard feelings, but I don't think we can take the word of that criminal seriously. <sighs> Why I can't even begin to think of ways to set up a crime scene. Dot, 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 dot. I suppose you do like the necessary in the little mind. I can't do such a thing. <laughs> Why do they have to kick a man when he's down, pal? <laughs> you shouldn't put yourself down, detective. You're a big boy. I bet you thought it up all by yourself, right? Yeah, that's right. I worked real hard at it, too. What? I think this proves one thing about the detective. He has the mental acuity of a worm. I have to admit, her explanation makes sense. However, there was also something she overlooked in her testimony. I should present that piece of evidence and see if I can't make her see the truth. There's no one out there with a motive. Oh. Oh no! There's no one out there with murder to kill, but it's nice to be day in this Okay, so let's see. What can we prove cool now? Can we prove cool the game? Where is our newspaper? Oh. Idiot. Uh, let's see. What's the solution to the. Wait. Let me read the other thing. Receive some mentors in KG8. Okay. Codopian Embassy staff member Manny Cochin found not guilty. The victim, Miss CCU. Well, I mean. I mean, uh, huh? Hmm. Well, that just automatically wait. That why? What does this have to do with them? My God, why do you overthink things? All you have to do is establish that someone had a grudge against one of the two, Mr. Rail, who happened to be there, became a witness to Mr. Faraday's murder. Before he killed out. What even is in there about Mr. Faraday or a shadow? What's Say, Why say. do you overthink things? But how do we know? What what does what does uh, oh my god? Where's my visions? Not my visions. My my what? I oh, can I, change the future. I can't look at it. Whatever. I don't care. I'm gonna freaking just go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and present this. Objection. There you go. I did it. I don't know how it connects because I don't see anything about Faraday or Mackerel. But, Pretty sure Faraday was the freaking attorney in that case. Well, considering he doesn't even say it, how do we know? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they said it earlier. Miss you, I believe there is someone you overlook in making your statement. Or rather, is it because you'd rather not bring this person up? What do you mean? We are looking for someone with a reason to kill both Mr. Faraday and Mr. Rell. I can think of at least one person that fits that bill. He was a suspect in the original KG-8 incident. 
and a member of the Codopian Embassy staff of Master Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mister. Whatever. Dot dot dot. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That's right. The very man who came to visit you earlier out in the hallway. Dot 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 dot. The man who killed a member of the Kodopian Embassy staff, Mr. Rell. And the man who was the lead prosecutor of the KG-8 incident, Mr. Faraday. Oh, he was a prosecutor, not defense. What? Oh, he was a prosecutor, not defense. I said defense. You did? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. Are you telling me that Mr. Cochin has no reason to all to kill what? both of these men? Well, I suppose he might have a reason or two. You, you covered for me, pal! Thank you! Maybe you're not such a bad guy after all. Don't get ahead of yourself. You're still a suspect. Make no mistake about that. Flippy's not such a screw-up after all. The perfect screw-up. The perfect testimony. These are the only things I wish to hold. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't do it. You will stay under my authority and go investigate Mr. Manny Cochin for me. And remember, I will not be very forgiving should things. Should any of this leak out, you want to investigate Cochin? You'd just be wasting your time. And why is that? Cochin was up in the viewing gallery watching the trial. Or so I was told. Every cop in this place has been keeping an eye on the guy since he arrived. Then the only real suspect we have is still Detective Gumshoe. I almost said Francisca Von Parma, honestly, for just some random reason. Like, I don't know where that almost came from. I was like, what? Wait, no, that's not right. I suppose so. No way, come on, Detective Bad. You've got to believe me, sir. I really was in that hallway the whole time, sir. I never took a single step into this room, sir. Okay, then. Are you saying... there was someone else who passed through the hallway? I... I... No, there was no one else, sir. Why should I believe you didn't do it? That is one incredibly foolish detective! Standing right in front of a crime scene all by himself. It's as good as a confession of guilt. I have to admit, it's a bit strange. Most criminals will fabricate some sort of lie to escape their crimes. And if that detective really wanted to prove that he is innocent, you think he would at the very least offer up, I spaced out while, I, while on duty or the like. Well, he doesn't want to get his freaking pay cut again. <laughs> Come on, Gumshoe. Time for your interrogation. Detective Bad! I'm so disappointed! Why is she still pointing at things? Myers Edgeworth, I will go out ahead and never hold us to Papa! And that, as they say, is that. Right, everyone! Ho ho ho! Merry Don't say Christmas! It. I knew it! <laughs> I can't help it, the freaking judge just has that look to him. Well, I suppose we should both be getting back to our real jobs now, huh? Before we do, Miss Hugh, there is something I'd like to speak with you about. What is it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, okay. Let me see this corpse real quick. You have set these two men up and make it look like they killed each other. If there's one thing I cannot forgive, it's the desecration of the desecration. dead. Desecration. I know, I know, I just goofed it up. It's the desecration! Desecration? Oh my gosh. The pleasant breeze is blowing through this window. Man, only, I could do with some breeze right now. If only I could exchange it with the stifling atmosphere of this. <laughs> I did it again. Atmosphere. You, I don't think you've said atmosphere correctly once this entire series. This, the stifling atmosphere of this crime scene. Do 
Too bad it only officially counts when I say it without a repeat. Yep. <laughs> Edward, what are you doing? The television has been left Picking his nose. To preserve the crime scene, of course. Wait, it wasn't on originally, it was off. It also doesn't look like it's on right now. And it will stay on until the police are finished with their investigation. Do they think nothing of saving electricity? <sighs> How bothersome. I mean, literally Gumshoe turned it on earlier, so I'm a little confused. It's, Mr. it's Faraday clearly Fat. off right now. Yeah, that too. I'm pretty sure it was an animation for playing that was when it was on, too. Or something different happened, I think. The evidence for the trial of the embassy staff's murder is in here. And if that things had gone smoothly, they would now what? mine. Including the two weapons in this double murder. The knife and gun, I suppose. I do suppose so. I wonder what else is in Faraday's bag. I do wonder. Everything is neat and tidy on top of the table. With not a single disturbance in the force. Congratulations, Edgewood. Yeah, that wasn't funny. Yeah. Oh, I got concerned randomly. It was like, whoa, there was a flash of light. I was like, whoa, no way. <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> Edgeworth? <laughs> Where are you off to? Aren't you the one that's wanted to talk? Oh, yes. Sorry about that. I was not expecting that. These plastic bags look like they fell here by chance at first glance. But, you know, do you ever feel like a plastic bag? No. But all of them, with the exception of the bloody one, are just camouflage. God, I love it when you don't get references. I don't get it. What is the reference here today? That's a Katy Perry song. I still don't get it. Why is that even a, so a song in the first place? I think that's the start of it. I don't know. Why would it be a song? I don't get it. I, suppose I heard John Tron sing it, so... Oh, you mean that's the fireworks song? Yeah, that's Gosh, how the fire. That's how fireworks starts. I suppose you could call this a twist on the old, the hide a tree, hide it in the woods. That's a plot twist I never expected. Oops. And they go from plastic bags to that. Sheesh. Who would have guessed? Did I already do this? I think I already did this. I'll do it again, just the unsure side. I still want to talk to this guy, but he's just like, he's hiding on the other side of the freaking body. He doesn't something. want to talk to you, so freaking move on. I was behind her, and I still talked to her. You were facing... behind her, not even facing her. Yeah, I was. Th I thought I actually got a legitimate hitbox on that freaking officer for a second there, too. <laughs> Threw me off. Thanks, game. So, what did you want to ask me about? <laughs> Ask me about. What did you want to task me with? Talk, ask, same thing, man. Oh, I forgot to talk to Gumshoe before finishing that other thing. Dang it! Who cares? Oh, man. I'm bummed now. It is a shame that we will not be able to face each other. It was to be my first Yeah, time we, too. we've seen this already. Oh, was that a declaration of war? We've oh, read this already. Country. And what a nice squeaky clean badge you got yourself there. I'm jealous. You've already read this. I'm sure it's Lee will go over time with this. You've experience. already read this. Are you saying your reputation will also You've done you this mind? already. <laughs> You've <laughs> already <laughs> done this. I'm never allowed my bad reputation. Because the tarnations. I mean, what in tarnation just happened right there? What do you think of this piece of evidence? I've already like, done this. I'm interested in things. Because I know the things happened. I don't know what that is. What? How is this possible? How can they not know? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Shut up! Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> I can't believe I can't. I've already read these things like 5,000 times. Looks like Mr. Rel was killed by the very gun he used to kill. The embassy staff member. You speak of the concept of karma, I assume? And that you take your life into your own hands when you commit a crime, correct? Hm. I never thought I'd be dealing with a gun this soon upon becoming a prosecutor. And didn't think she'd be so philosophical. 
Ah, well, for a veteran like me, they're pretty much par for the course. To be honest, even if it's just once, I've always wanted to try firing one. Hey, is that thing loaded? Do you think I could give it a try right now? Don't Jesus be Christ! Ooh, interesting. Don't be ridiculous, this isn't some kind of toy. <laughs> I was only joking, duh! Why is it that anything I have to say is a joke to her? Because she's just a freaking... She's just a jerk, that's really all there is to it. Mr. Faraday was killed with this knife, correct? I feel bad for him. Being killed by evidence you prepared yourself is just awful. Miss Yu, what do you think about this piece of evidence? I just scratched my hand. Uh oh. I need to get used to these freaking nails. I've never had fingernails before. <laughs> well, I can't be that bad. I oh. only have my thumbnail and my my left thumbnail and my left uh, middle finger. Actually, based on how you described it to me that one time, I'd say I would probably that probably would take some getting used to. But what do you? What do I think? Well, other than blood, it's a very pretty and ornate knife. I love to use it as an ornament in my home. Or you could use it as a ritual sword to, call it, to get the Lord of Calamity out of here. If it's alright with you, It took man, way I... too long for you to figure out the sentence. <laughs> it did. <laughs> oh, well, I don't care. I was just playing Tales of Zestiria about a few hours ago before recording this, so... You know, I, I don't regret anything, so... The game still sucks. It's an amazing game. It's still my second favorite Tales of Zestiria. What it's my second least favorite. This is a weapon that was used to kill someone with. <laughs> Why so serious? I think someone needs to loosen up. There she goes again. Yeah, I suppose so, man. Well, In kind what of way some... is Grnk an onomatopoeia for anything? Uh... Anything like what? What anything. sound could that be? Ugh, that's about all you know, man. That's about all you know. Everything is not a monopia for itself. If you think about it long enough, we gotta learn about the CP9 incident. The current case of the murdered Kodopian embassy staff member. I've heard that people have been calling it the second KG-8 incident. What? Why? Was CP-9? CP-9 is a one-piece arc. Why not the C-3PO incident? Because I've never seen Star Wars. Oh, whatever, man. Jeez, man. Only among the you law of Western types? And what about it? Excuse me. I'd like you to tell me about everything you know about the original KG-8 incident. I'm afraid I can't help you. I don't know anything beyond what was reported in the papers. No, I believe you know much more, since you are directly tied to the KG-8 incident. I'd appreciate it if you would stop accusing me with the false accusations. What? <laughs> Faceless outbursts are useless both inside and outside the courtroom, don't you know? I do, but I also know that I do have a leg to stand on here. Take that! <laughs> Think you can stop making that ultra serious face in front of me? That's an ultra serious face? If you could please stop laughing for just one second. I'm not going to make my, any headway like this, so I must inspect every suspicious looking nook and cranny. I'm just going to have to show her after I inspect those cranes. I'm gonna... If I ever meet you in real life, I'm gonna hit you just for this. You know, I never realized... I don't know if I said this already before, but I never realized that Nook's Cranny and Animal Crossing was a pun on Nook and Cranny. How? Because... I assumed... I don't know. When I heard I it think... originally... What I, I think thought literally was, I thought... in this series, I, whenever you said Nook and Cranny, I said Nook's yeah, Cranny. I know that, but this is just... I don't know if I brought this up already. I, I might be just repeating myself for no reason, but... When you said that, though, I immediately did not 
think of that, and I was like, wait a second, like, what? Wait, these names are alike. Could this be a coincidence? Because I always thought of Nook, because Tom Nook, obviously, and then Cranny, I was like, oh, that's just another name for store or something. I'm like, okay, whatever. Well, a Cranny is a... I know, man, Nook and Cranny. I, I know it now, but it's like, I just thought of, like, Nook store, and they were just using some fancy term for store for some reason. You're so stupid. I am, I really <laughs> You are, I, I said it in that freaking group DM, but you're the embodiment of the American dream. Exactly how related to the KD8 incident she is. My god. Eh, we'll see what happens when my my dad eventually kicks me out of the house. My, my dad and stepmother kick me out and they'll be like, oh great, yeah, American dream, holy. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a doing? great American dream. What are you what, doing? What were you going to say? Were you going to say something? No. Oh. Well, what are we supposed to do? I already... Present the freaking KG-8 paper to her. Wait, again? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Miss Yu. I believe that I have proof of your connection to the KG-8 incident. This file is your proof. Very well, then. Why don't you tell me exactly how I'm related to the KG-8 incident? Ooh, I wonder... But since it's not going to punish me, and I know exactly what the answer is for once, yeah, I'm going to select all the wrong answers. What? Obviously, it's the lead prosecutor. Yeah, totally, man. Through that suspect. You're linked to the case through the former suspect, Manny Cochin. Yes, and that sheds light on our discussion how. What? It looks like I jumped the gun on this one. <laughs> Weren't you the one who mentioned it earlier? About how Mr. Cochin came to see me? Obviously that makes us acquaintances, right? Eh, I suppose so. So is that all you wanted to talk about? If so, I'd like to get going. Wait a second. Hmm. Alright then. Why don't you tell me exactly how I'm related to the KGA incident? The lead prosecutor! You're linked to the case. Through Mr. Faraday. Well, I guess we were just duking it out in the courtroom. I suppose that makes us related in some sense, but so what? Who cares? I suppose so. Mm. I guess that wasn't it. So, is that all you wanted to talk about? Man, that was really worth doing. It was worth doing. It was such a nice joke option, now wasn't it? No, that was just I... boring and pointless. I thought it was anyway. Hmm. Alright then. Why don't you tell me exactly how I'm related to mm -hmm. <laughs> Through the victim! The connection to the KG-8 incident is through the victim. The victim's name is CCU. Some people thought that was like an acronym for like a CCU unit or something. Or or wait, uh, I, whatever the freaking heck CCU stands for. I already forgot, but I, I never, I don't know. Never mind. You know, just be quiet, me. Be quiet. Soon. Please do. I never made note of it. Maybe that's... Oh, you will note that she... Okay, whatever. No, shut up, Edward. I never made note of that. That's why the only reason I didn't remember it. <laughs> I think whenever she was introduced, I said that it was a pun on CU. That was the other possibility, but there's no way it is, because there's two Cs. That just wouldn't make any sense. Well, I mean, I don't know. Never mind. I, I can't rule oh things out. Oh my god. You will you're so stupid. That she has the same last name as you. You. <laughs> you. Can you, you, really tell me with a straight face that you are not related to this case? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but we're not related. What? Just kidding. You asked that question with such a serious look on your face. That I couldn't help but... <laughs> mm. No, he, he, he said Merg. Mm. It's you. I asked that you. Please tell me the truth. Ahem. Alright, I'll tell you everything I know. Oh, you want to tell me everything you know? That's amazing. Uh, really? Well, I thought Why? maybe this would change something, but fine. This Why? Gonna... Because it's... She's like, calmed down a little bit. She's not gonna joke around or something. She can tell me everything. As you guessed, the one who reported the smuggling activities on the, of the Amano group was my sister CCU. As I thought. 
and she was killed right before she was to testify the impending trial by Manny Cochin. But because he was tried once and was acquitted, he gets to live out the rest of his cushy life completely carefree. All because of a lack of evidence. No, I heard that the evidence that convicted him did exist. What? I heard it from Mr. Faraday himself after Mr. Cochin's trial was over. Apparently a man in black made off with mo the most important piece of evidence. The evidence had been tampered man with? man in black. Isn't it just- what? <laughs> I'm confused, man. Isn't it just- Isn't it just like uh, something to do with a uh, criminal or something like that? The smuggling ring being run out of the mono group by one of the secretaries. What? They bailed Mr. Cochin out. Turns out they were in league with each other all along. How big was that smuggling ring? Was it a large operation? I don't really know. Which is why I wanted to become a le the lead defense. On this case that people are calling the second KGA incident. But I haven't learned anything new at all. I was probably expecting too much, I know. You. I mean, you think this case is nothing Okay, to do the with joke the is old. It's just irritating now. Is it now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Hmm. I don't know what to think either. Why did Mr. Cochin want to meet with you earlier? Actually, he came to watch the trial. Apparently, he only found out that I was the defense lawyer on this case after he'd arrived. He figured he should say, Hi! And one other thing. Looks like he couldn't resolve anything this time either. Too bad. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, stop it with the scary face already. I'm fine, really. I gave him a good slap across the face. The way she That's talks assault. about slapping him as she laughs away is kind of creepy. Ahem. But it's just as Mr. Bad said. He's not related to the double murder. She Asked just around. assaulted somebody in a courthouse. Yeah. I don't know, just slapping someone in the face really assaults? I mean, it? Yes! Depends, man. It just depends. And people... Unless he put unless he put hands on her first, that's assault. The gallery claimed that was he was in the seat the entire time. Talk about cruel fate. Well, this is about all I know. <laughs> Sorry. Guess that wasn't much help, huh? That's not true. I'm sorry I made you recall such a painful time in your life. <laughs> Edgeworth, you really are too serious for your own good. You really need to learn to relax. We wouldn't want you to die of stress, would you? What? Thank you for your advice, but there's no need to worry. What, what? <laughs> anyway, whatever. I work in my own way, and I will catch this criminal in my own way as well. You'll see. <laughs> Look at you with your game face on. Ready? Get yeah, ready to go. Thank I, God. I'm making an old such face. Did I'm you know? Uh, what? <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine, Edgeworth. Don't you get tired of making such a serious face all the time? I'm charged with making sure that all the criminals of this world are found guilty. I have no need for laughter. There you go. Making that face again. Oh well. I've got to get going. I still have a few loose ends I need to tie up. She just walked right through me. Good job. You were standing behind her. Good job. Versus... No, I wasn't. I walked in front of her after that, remember? No. Yeah, I did. Remember, you were like, what are you doing? And then I walked back towards her and I was in front of her. No. Yeah. Are you freaking serious? The KG-8 incident and this murder investigation. It is my belief that these two cases are related to each other somehow. Plus that detective. Detective Gumshoe. It's obvious he's lying, even though it's the lie is hurting his chances. Clearly this case is far from over. But whether or not that detective is the murderer can only be determined once I've completed my perfect investigation. Mr. Von Karma, I swear to uphold your honorable name. Or my name isn't Miles Edgeworth. Oh no! End of Act One. Oh no! This can't be. Saving state data and stuff and whatnot, and on the next exciting episode, everyone. Oh boy.
Are you ready for Act 2 to finally begin after five bajillion years? And I get to destroy my... So many what is that people. officer doing?